Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cindy Cool, and this is Gems of War. And today we got the Vault Event. It's Friday. Three days of Vault Event. The best time to be playing the game. Best time to be playing Gems of War. Time to get that gold, those keys, those souls, those orbs. All kinds of good stuff, so... Now's the best time to be playing the game, right now. Not that you shouldn't be playing it every day, but if you really want to play the game, you kind of got to play it every day. But this is the time to put in the extra effort. The Vault Event. And I'll explain what it is for beginners. I know I do that every time. You're probably going to hear the same old stuff. I mean, we're doing... Uh, once we get into it, it's kind of just like... Brr, 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 like It's nothing... No brain busters. We're kind of just pushing buttons. So I usually go over kind of the same kind of stuff. But you never know what I'm going to say. I... Sometimes I do the same rants, but they're different. I add stuff to them, and I go crazy. You never know. So we'll see. Let me set up the stream. I got my thumbnail. And it's being dumb. Okay, cool. Well, I'll just jump into the chat then. Screw you. That's what you do. When you're when your computer's not working, you say, well, I'm just going to use my phone then. Or, yeah, or I'm going to go jump into the chat while you're being slow. Can't just sit there and yell at it. Until it works. Alright, we got Mark, Frank, Sauna. How's it going, y'all? Hey, uh, Mark. Hello, Frank. Celebrate good times. Oh, yeah, Sauna. What's up, y'all? Early birds get the worm. Alright, might be working now. Bang, bang. Playlists. Save. I think I caught whatever my daughter had, by the way. Uh... It, like, right like after the stream yesterday, I was like, ugh. I was feeling like crap. Dookie. Like a headache, like a sore throat. Like, I was hot. I was cold. My, I was getting feeling weak. Like, is this how she's been feeling? I took care of her all day yesterday, so that's probably why. She's, like, on the end of it. Like, she's getting better. Like, she's probably, you know, 75% right now. I feel like I'm, like, 60. Like I got through a lot of it yesterday, and I woke up with a headache and a sore throat today. And I know it's always something with me, but I still stream. So, a lot of people would just, like, not stream, and then you wouldn't hear about it. Well, I stream every day no matter what, so you're going to hear about everything. So, when I have a toothache, or I have the vid, or I got, yeah, you're going to hear about everything, so... So I stream every day, no matter what. It'd be like going to work if you had a little cold. You just go and stay away from people, I guess. Uh. Alright. Let's go and uh, do a chapter. Intro. Alright, what is a vault event? Do you guys know? Does anybody know? What's a vault event mean, dude? There's no shop. What's this? There's no event. What, what do you do? Where's it at? Where's the vault event at, guys? Where'd it go? Where do I go to do it? I don't see it. Where's it at? Huh? Where do I do the vault event, guys? Where? I don't know. Uh, F. Lee, she's doing a little bit better. She's not all the way. Like, she'll have her moments. And I think she gave it to me. So now I'm having my moments. Live, why Caustic life, good to see you. I haven't seen you in a minute, I don't think. I mean, I think I've seen you, but not often. Um, Alright, I think I'm ready to go, sorry. Alright, so, we got... The treasure vault gnomes, gnomes everywhere. Increased chances of treasure gnomes and more vault keys this weekend. They don't even tell you where. Like, you could be doing, uh, PV... Uh, you know, I don't know, PvP's not a good... Uh, you could be doing, like, Underspire and think you're getting gnomes. Yeah. You could be doing the Underworld and think you're getting gnomes. You could be doing, um, random... Like, you could be doing the Raid event and think you're getting gnomes. Like, they don't even tell you. It says gnomes, gnomes everywhere. They're not everywhere. That's a lie. They are not everywhere. You know? I think that's it. They're just an explorer in PvP, right? Like, most people just... 90-something percent of people do explore. But there are other places that they do appear more often. But it's only like two or three places. It's not everywhere. And they say treasure vault, gnomes, gnomes everywhere. That makes me th that would make a, like a beginner think that they could do anything and they could still get. Uh. Dang, you took a year break, caustic life. 
You take the vault like in Ocean's Eleven. Tss. You're having luck in Midnight? I was going to do Cinema Mirage. What is this? Amatil's Prison. A new campaign is starting soon. Get ready for 10 weeks of epic tasks and awesome rewards in 2 days and 15 hours. Okay. Well, the main thing right now is the Vault Event. You do not want to be doing anything else except for Explore 1 over and over and over with Rowan or Ironhawk. Most, like, most likely. 90-something percent of the time. 99% of the time. That's what you should be doing if you want to get, like, the max amount of Vault Keys. Some people have different goals in life. They want to do other things. But, you know, getting getting as many Vault Keys as you can will give you those other things. So I don't know what you're thinking. But, um, yeah, getting... Vault keys will give you those other things. So get as many vault keys as you can. The way you do that is do explore one, clear it as quickly as possible, cycle enemies as quickly as possible. That way you have more of a chance to see more gnomes. And then run your gaps and you know run your gaps once you get them. Fifteen minutes of all gnomes is what a noma palooza is. So let's go. I think the first thing I usually do is like adventure board and dungeon just to let's just check it out because it might be like look gems. Ritz, that's that's good enough to actually do, even during a vault event, because it's so quick. Like, we might as well get it done. Let's just do this adventure board real fast. Dip our toe in. I got the resting bee face today. Like my head hurts, so my face is all scrunched up. Ugh. My throat hurts. I don't have a temperature, though. I took my temperature. It's like a 98. Hers is like a 99. Which, that's good, I guess. How's everybody been doing? You guys getting any uh, good loot yet? Anybody wake up, helicopter out of bed, and do the vault event? That's the one time where I would... Uh, I would salute you. Salute you. If you helicoptered out of bed to do the vault event. I'm gonna skip that one. I don't want that pet food. I mean, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe I'll get it. If you helicoptered out of bed today, I love it. You were excited to do the vault event. Yeah, pretty much, Sana. I think she gave it to me. She was in in the same room as me, like, the entire day yesterday. You know, we're in the same car all the time. I wouldn't doubt it. I was hugging on her and making her feel better, rubbing her head. So, I was, like, expecting it almost. <coughs> so, excuse me if I don't... You know, I'm trying. Uh, I'm early, yeah, I like that. I like that you said that, because I'm kind of late, because I put out a reminder for, like, 11, and then I increased it to 11.30, but Dr. Mops knows that usually it's 12. So, I actually, technically, I'm early. Seventy-seven Valkyries on main and fifty-nine on alt so far. How do you decide, like, which one you're gonna do? Do you, like, split your time? If I had an alternate account and a main account, I'd probably do, like... Like, let's say you're gonna do five hours a day. I'd probably do, like, four on my main and one on my alt or something like that. I guess it depends where you're at with the uh, alt. If you're, like... You know, super close to getting something that you really want. Maybe you'd go harder on your alt. But when I was doing, when I was doing an alternate account, which I've done two times before, if anybody hasn't seen them yet, there's a whole playlist of me restarting the entire game, and that it's not from five years ago. It's from a year ago and like two years ago. I need to do another one, but. Ooh, I got the kill 150 green troops. That's going to be nice. That's going to happen. I'm going to get 100 gems just for doing the vault event. Okay. So now we do dungeon just because, you know, you got to get the adventure board and dungeon out of the way. Then you do the vault event. You should have already did your raid event. You should have already did, like, underspire, PvP, everything else. So you're not doing that stuff this weekend. Especially not a lot of it. Like, I could see for your guild if, you know, you only bought up to a... You only had a certain amount of gems to buy to a certain... Um, potion in the shop that um, you're doing your four battles, four free battles a day like Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. I could see that. I'm not saying it's like a hard and fast you have to not... Uh, like there's, there's exceptions. Like I might even do the raid a little bit. Like if my guild's not done with it, 
And I already did all my other sigils, though. Like, I didn't leave 20 of them. Like, I did them all. I have zero. But today I get four. Tomorrow I get four. The next day I get four. If my guild needs me to, you know, I'm going to run those four battles. But that's it. I'm not going to be, like, trying to get first place in, in, in PvP. I'm not going to be going to the seventh boss in the Underspire. Like, I'm, I'm done with that stuff. I'm done. Now's the time to do the vault. Not that stuff. Okay. So let's get started. Let's go check it out. We got, uh, I think Center Mirage is going to work. What you want to do is look at the, you know, there'll be a true, there'll be a troop, a typing and like a kingdom that gets a boost every week. And this week it's like undead something. You can always look. My brain is barely working. Got a dark stone undead. So that can mess you up. If you're doing the Explorer 1 Ironhawks Rowan thing. Especially Ironhawk, because it does a specific amount of damage, and you, they can't even have one more HP or it won't work as good. They can't have two more HP or it won't work as good. So you got to pay attention to this. And, like, if you were doing Darkstone, don't do Darkstone. Like, if you're in a spot where there's a lot of undead, you might not want to be in that spot. You might want to try a different kingdom. Like for Wild Plains, for example. I usually do Wild Plains like, every single Vault event. But there are, like, three or four undead in the Wild Plains. And there's zero undead, believe it or not, in Cinema Mirage. So I'm going to try Cinema Mirage. That's my other one. I have Wild Plains, Cinema Mirage, and I used to do Blackhawk. But I think something happened at Blackhawk where it doesn't work anymore. So now it's just Cinema Mirage and Wild Plains. For me. And that's what I recommend to other people, too, because I know it works. Like, I'm not going to hunt around in, you know, 15 other kingdoms when I, I have two that work and I can switch back and forth between them. Why would I do that? All right, so now I'm looking at the myth stones, the 57 out of 100. I don't want to have uh, 57. I want to have something like zero before I run a gap. We can look at my stats. Do I have any vault keys right now? I could have went up to the right-hand corner, but you can start. You can look at all. You can like just take a little snapshot. Like I got 6,069. That's pretty easy to remember. Gems, because you're gonna get just doing the vault event the right way this weekend for the three days. I guarantee, as long as you're not buying, like, a bunch of merchant offers, that can kind of screw it up. But, um, if you're not buying any merchant offers, like, too many of them, you could get, like, a thousand or two thousand gems just as you do the vault event without even opening your keys. So this should be, we should be able to get to at least seven thousand. So right now we're at six thousand sixty-nine. The gold I really don't pay attention to, but we got thirty-four, almost thirty-five million. Fifteen million something there. Three hundred ninety-four thousand. Got 39,000. Okay, 462 Dragonite. That's That'd be good to uh, keep track of. <laughs> See how much Dragonite we get. Vault Key, zero. I opened them all. I'm not gonna... It's one thing you should not do during the Vault Event. Don't open your Vault Keys. Wait until the Vault Event is over. It's a waste of time. You're gonna get the same thing. So there's, there's no increased reward for opening it during the Vault Event. A Vault Key is worth the same right now as it will be four days from now. Five days from now, six days from now. So that's like you wasting your time where you could be going and getting more vault keys. So don't get all excited and start opening them. Like even if you do the, even if you like get vault keys for hours and hours and hours and then you open them at night or something, like that's not the right way to do it. Don't do it. Wait until the vault event is over and then open your vault keys. Epic vault keys, you're going to get about 10% of whatever you get for vault keys. If you're a beginner, you're hoping for around 100 bare minimum. If you're mid-level, you're hoping for around 200 bare minimum. And if you're high-level, you're hoping for around 300 bare minimum. Vault keys. So then you're beginner, 10 epics. Mid, 20 epics. You know, high-level, 30 epics. Bare minimum. I only got two gaps. That's fine with me. I'm not gonna. I'm not the type of dude that's gonna like stack a billion gaps because like you got it. You're gonna have to do them one day, and, and it doesn't make sense to me. You know, the, set, the person that stacks up 20 gaps, they're going to have to run them all one one weekend. And while they're doing that, I'm still doing the same thing I was doing. So we end up in the same spot anyway. So you're just, like, putting stuff off. You got 15 minutes times whatever. And that's going to be a lot of time. You're just putting it off. It sounds like sounds like a good idea. Let me stack up a bunch of gaps. Sounds like a good idea, but it's really 15 times whatever. If you got 20 of them, 15 times 20. Or divide it by 4. Now you got 5 hours ahead of you. I don't like it. I don't like stacking up more than, like, five gaps or so. You should just run them. 
They could nerf. They could nerf Valkyries or something. Like, get them now. They're good now. Do it now. Don't, like, stack stuff up and wait. They could nerf it. They can make it better, too, but they're more likely to nerf things than to make them better, usually. <laughs> like this game. Uh, we don't really need to look at any of that. Just taking kind of a snapshot of what I got before I get started. I probably should have done this, like, last night, or... I'm wasting time right now, but... Does anything else matter? Not really. The main thing I'm looking at is Vault Keys, Dragonite, Gems, Gaps... So, Jim 6,069. Alright, let's go. Send a Mirage. We're gonna go Hunt versus. No turns for you. That's not it. Huh? What happened there? When did that happen? Why is it the same team? That's weird. It's supposed to be my Iron Hawk team right here. For some reason, it's my Rowan team. Hmm. Oh well. I'll just fix it. Alright, so when you're hunting versus, if you have everything in the game, you want to use Triple Iron Hawk. With the Dust Devil. Cast the Dust Devil, the third trade on the Iron Hawk triggers, and you do 20 damage. And it takes out Explorer 1. As long as you're not in a weird kingdom. If you don't have this, just do your Rowan. Or Double Iron Hawk. If you only have... If you don't have Triple Iron Hawk, but you have Double Iron Hawk, use Double Iron Hawk for everything. It's almost simpler. When you have Triple Iron Hawk, you have to switch back and forth between Double and Triple. When you have Double Iron Hawk, you just use Double for everything. There's no switching back and forth. Anita! Was that Anita or Sana? Sorry. Sana! Sorry. Sana with the gifted, thank you so much. Oh, yeah, you're a legend. I only saw, like, half the picture. Appreciate you, Sana. Center Queen. Throw up those Center Queen, uh, emojis. Um, what am I doing? Dust Devil. I don't know what happened to my team here. That's never happened to me before. Maybe I copy-pasted. Maybe in a fever dream last night when I was sick. I copy pasted or something. And as far as class, if you don't have all the class weapons, remember this. I don't say it every single time, but a good way to get the class weapons is to equip a class. Even if you're not using your hero, it still counts towards your victories to your class weapons. So if you don't have every, every single class weapon, you should be getting them right now this weekend. Yeah, I don't care if it's uh, Oracle class weapon. Like, go get it. Like, I have a video about, like, the best ones and you can do them in that order so you get the best ones this weekend but you should have all the class weapons after this vault event if you don't have them equip the class and get victories i don't think nothing really matters banner doesn't matter so who cares i mean might as well put yellow and brown just to just in case we run up against something that survives all right, here we go. We gotta make sure our medals are right. We'll do that after this battle. You don't want um, what's the medal you don't want? It's like Anu or one of them does an extra animation. See the medal of Anu one. Stop it. All right, yes. Yeah, so take off the Anu. You just put on Nishas or so something that doesn't give you an extra animation. It really doesn't matter what medals you do because. None of them are really going to help you. But just don't do an Anu, because it makes that little extra animation. Maybe even the Orpheus does, too. I can't remember. There's one or two medals that will add an animation, and that will add up over time as you do hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of battles. That portion of a second is going to add up. Supernova, Tyrion Shark, Dr. Mops, Garth George. Y'all grinding it? grinding on it so my goal right now is to get my boss chest set it as close to zero as possible and then go run a gap and while i'm doing that i'm hoping i get a verse that i need which i don't even know which one i need right now it's probably cindy that's usually who it is uh 
I'm just gonna do this until the cows come home. Run gaps when it's time to do that. Just go as fast as you can. The only re the only thing I could think of as to why people stack up gaps is because they don't have 15 minutes straight. Like they're super busy and they're just running battles whenever they can. And that's when you would like hunt versus because you're not going to lock yourself into 15 minutes. Like I never thought of like I was trying to like put myself into their shoes one day. Like I wonder why people stack up gaps and I was like, well, maybe like they can't run them because they never have 15 straight minutes to to actually play without interruption. So they're just sitting there and doing triple iron hawk all day, getting interrupted every 15 minutes. And that's just what they can do. And then they're hoping one day they'll have 15 minutes. Like, or maybe at night or something. What I say is get up early, stay up late. You know, people usually aren't going to bug you at 5 a.m. in the morning. People usually aren't going to bug you at 1 a.m. at... You know? The best time. Like super early in the morning where it would be rude to bug you. It's when you should be playing. Super late at night where it'd be rude if they bug you. Like, you just act like you're sleeping, but you're really playing. Mrs. The Mrs. Mark has 15 gaps because she doesn't have 15 minutes. She works a lot. See, I, I knew. I try, I try to put myself in people's shoes. I'm not like... Well, you shouldn't do that. You gotta do it this way or else. Like, I'm trying. Uh, Tyrion says, I'm, a, su I'm in such a poopy mood, I can't even enjoy Vault Weekend. I feel you, bro. I've been having a rough time, too. Not to be, uh, trying to... You know, you know, when people say, I have a headache, and then the other person's like, Me, too! I got a headache, too! It's like, you know, I was trying to get some sympathy here for my headache, and now you're saying you got one too. Like, that doesn't help. Yeah, I hope you get better, Tyrion. What's up, Brain Man? I'm right there with you, though. Supernova says, sorry I was late. I was busy. Something fires because I had a meltdown, destroyed my work office and my... Tyrannical boss pooped her pants. She had crocodile tears and half the police force between me and her. <laughs> you always got these crazy stories, man. Crazy. Weren't you the one who said you got in a fight or something on the roadways? Beg says, in the library with the rope. Clues the video game. Holy corn god form. <laughs> I just saw that. Yoke the ham is here. I was going to just click on factions on the underworld to not waste attempts down there. Yeah, you can load them in. That's a good idea. I forget to say that. Like at some point you're kind of done with uh, You're not done with the underworld, but you kind of don't pay as much attention to it. In the beginning of the game, you're like really, you're trying to get there, you're trying to go, like it's a thing you do every day, you run your three, do your City of Thieves, you're like trying to get those troops, you're trying to get those stats, you're really in, in, in the underworld a lot, like in the beginning of the game and even mid game. Once you get to end game, you're kind of like just doing the events and go down there every once in a while, you might pick it, pick it one or the other. But yeah, you should load them in, that, you're right about that, like... You can save, uh, sigils, I guess they are, down there. You just go start a delve, and then it, like, saves it for you. You can do it tomorrow or the next day. It saves it for, like, a long time, don't it? At least a week. And then you can go to a different one and load one in, and a different one and load one in. Now you just used all three of them. You don't have to worry about it. And then you just don't run them because you're doing the vault event. You see how I got two verse gnomes so far during this period of time? That's what I'm hoping for. And I think the Baz was the one I needed. So now I have three gaps. 
As far as the merchants go, you want to know what you're going to do before you see it. I think I'm going to grab those writs for gold. Gold is not like as... You don't have to think as hard about gold offers. If, it, if it's something good, just get it. You can replenish gold easily. The gem one is the one you really need to be knowing. Like, am I going to get this? Am I going to get that? When it pops up, I should know. Like, okay, I'm only getting purple purple deeds if I see them. That's it. You know, there's some other things that are... Like, uh, like everybody would get. But, like, if you see a red deed, are you getting it? You should know that. If you see a blue one, are you getting it? You should know that. If you see an epic vault key, are you getting it? You should know that. Before it pops up. That way you're not sitting there like, hmm, huh, should I? Which one should I do? Should I do the gold one? Or maybe the gem one? I don't know. What do you think, hun? Come in, get in, come in here, Mrs. Sinny. What do you think? Should I do the gold one or the gem one here? Well, she's like, well, what does this one do? Um, well, actually, the, the, the red deed will give me more kingdom levels for red kingdoms. If I save up enough, I can make a red book. And then I can start leveling my red kingdoms. But the other one, the gold one, is... She's like, I don't know. I don't even play this game. Why are you asking me? You should be doing the vault of it and already know what you were going to do, dummy. That's what she says. You should pick one color. Now you know. Like, I'm going to always get purple. I'm, I'm on green today. I'm on green. I'm going to always get green. I'm going to skip everything else. Or maybe you get green and purple. Like, purple's never a bad deal. Purple you're going to need till the end of time, so... It just depends how many gems you got. Like, right now, I'm concentrating on red. I'm trying to replenish my gem stack, so I'm not, like, excited when I see a purple deed at the moment. I should be, I guess, but I don't have enough gems to be excited. So if I see a red deed, though, I'm clicking on it. Bang. Because I'm working on a red kingdom right now. You're probably not, so you shouldn't do that. Most of y'all are probably either working on a purple or a green. That's what I would guess. So you should probably pick one of those two. And when you see it, grab it. But if you see a red or a blue or a brown, you should just be, you know, pick the gold one or skip both of them. The angel should be super easy. You just pick the better thing quickly, as quickly as possible. Don't sit there and hem and haw about it and ask your neighbor. We gotta move on, get to the next battle. Get out of here. Pick it quickly. Angel, okay, bang, bang. Oh, you're done. I got another Cindy. I think I got every single verse name so far. This is how I play. You hunt verses, then you run a gap. Then you hunt verses, then you run a gap. Then you hunt verses, then you run a gap. And you're hunting verses while you're going for the boss chest. And then you run a gap when you're as close to zero as possible. That's your signal to switch. The only time you wouldn't switch is if you did not get the verse that you needed. Then you just run a whole other boss chest until you get that verse. That'd be unlucky. So we're going to get this boss chest out of the way. Most likely this thing's going to survive. It's going to cause us more trouble. We're going to have to open the chest. There could be a horde mimic in there. Like it... This just, it just takes longer. You don't want to be doing a gap while you're opening a chest. It's not like horrible. You don't, you know. If it happens, it's not the worst thing that can happen in the world. But you just want to try to min-max as much as possible. See how they survived. And now it's kind of taking a little bit longer. A horde mimic could pop up after this. You know, they got to show you your medals and stuff. It just takes a little bit longer. And you don't want this happening during a gap. Boss chest, what I get? Token of Yasmin. Alright, here we go. Now. Now. We go get Sister Superior. You can do Greed if you want. That's not horrible. Doing Greed... I used to do Greed. Greed gives you a little bit of extra gold. Like a little tiny bit of extra gold. Every, every battle. Which might add up over the entire weekend. But it's also a tiny bit slower and a tiny bit less consistent. The Sister Superior is the most consistent and powered that you can run with this team. But if you're running Greed, I don't hate it. 
All right, and this is the order if you're on on a console, especially if you're on PlayStation. Dust Devil, Iron Hawk, Iron Hawk, Sister Superior. That's it's in this order because I'm on PlayStation. This is a controller. I'm on a controller. If you're on a mouse, if you're on a touch screen, you might not have it in this order. But if you're on a PlayStation controller, this is the order you should have it in. Based on which buttons you press and how easy it is to press the buttons. It's you know, if you're on a if you're on a mouse, you're just clicking clicking their head to kill them with your gun. I usually lock it in real quick, you know, even though you don't have to. I just usually like run a quick battle just to make sure All right, so now we have two out of 100. We're never going to get all the way to 100 during a gap. There's no freaking way. Like, the, the high, your most you're going to get is like 70-something if you're crazy. If you're a crazy lunatic, you might get 80. There's no freaking way you're getting all 98 of those during a gap. So you're perfectly... That's We're safe. We're not going to get a boss chest. We're not going to get a horde mimic mythic during our gap. We're not going to have to open an extra chest. We're not going to have something survive. It's not going to be annoying. We're going to have all that time... To run our gap without hitting a boss chest now. Go to the Soul Forge. Here's your pity keys, by the way. Every five gnomes you get, you get a free vault key sent to you in the mail. That's something they did a, a couple years ago. It's for people that just get have horrible luck with gnomes. They just... Every gnome they get drops something stupid and never drops a key. Like, if you have horrible luck, they want to be able... They want you to get some sort of amount of vault keys. So they send you one in the mail for every five gnomes you kill. Kinda. Like it's five, and then it's ten, and then it's fifteen, and then it's twenty. Like it goes up every time. So it's not exactly like every five gnomes. It's like, you know, the first five you see, you get a vault key. The second ten you see, you get a vault key. The second fifteen you see, you get a vault key. Like it goes up, but it's pretty easy. Like right now, I'll probably get like three or something, three or four pities during this gap. Alright, Soul Forge. If you don't have Ironhawks, run Rowan. You know, Rowan, Mirage Queen, Leprechaun, something like that. Black Manacles. Whatever clears your Explorer 1 in one shot and get your Rowan up quickly. I'll read the chat before I start this. Let's see what y'all are saying. It's kind of hard to look at the chat while I'm doing a gap. Let's see. <clears throat> Yeah, now Dr. Mops, my daughter, is not going to get uh, get to go to her grandma's tonight. It's, like, stupid. I feel terrible for her. She had to get sick. Like, the only time her grandma wants to take her, which doesn't happen very often. You know, maybe once every three months or something like that. And finally, after asking for weeks and weeks and weeks, she was going to go spend the night with her grandma tonight and watch, like, Taylor Swift concert, the Aries tour on, PB on uh, whatever it's called. You know, order it. And, um, now she's sick and can't go. So I guess I'm just gonna order it and let her watch it here. So that's what I'll be doing tonight for a Friday night. Watching Taylor Swift Aries tour. Caustic says, my paid sub fell off. Could someone remind me where I go to re-up? Uh, it's down, like, at the bottom where the chat is. You see that, uh, show your support for Cynical? It's like a dollar sign inside of a, a rectangle. You click on that. And you can say membership. Click on membership. And it's only $1.99. And it helps a lot. It keeps the lights on. You know, the doors open. We're doing a thing now, right now where we're live streaming every day. We're trying to make this work. We're trying not to compete with the, you know, unfair people. So we're trying to do our own thing and, and make, make it so we're not competing. So if you want to support, there it is. Just like Sana did earlier. You know, there's a super chat, super stickers, membership gifting. If you already have a membership, you can gift memberships to other people in the chat. That's kind of fun. And if you don't want to, like, do a membership, if you're afraid of the membership because it might, like, charge you or something. Which it doesn't. It'll ask you before it charges you again, I think. Or you can, like, check an option that makes it to where it won't charge you again, you know? You can do a, su a super sticker or a super chat. And that's, like, a one-time only where it doesn't, like, it's never going to recharge you. But yeah, if you want, it's the little dollar sign in the in the rectangle under the chat. If you're on, like, a phone, sometimes it, it doesn't show up and you have to go to, like, a computer 
or a tablet or something. Like, phones are weird. Sometimes phones don't work. But if you're in the chat, I think it works if you're in the chat. Livewar says, I'm fortunate to not have been sick since 2002, but aches and pains don't count and I have a lot of those. Yeah, that probably sucks just as bad, huh? Ever since, like, Thanksgiving, I've been freaking... I don't know, I got the vid, like, twice. <clears throat> and then I've, like, ever since then. Sana says, alt need resources more for kingdoms. Yeah, and you can get those. You can get everything by doing the vault event correctly. Like, I know in the back of your head, you're like, well, how am I going to get deeds? How am I going to get writs? How am I going to get whatever? I'm, I guarantee it, because you're going to get gems that you can then use to get those other things. Or you're going to get merchant offers to get those other things. Like, it's going to happen. Like, just do the vault event right, and you'll get whatever you want. I promise. Even if it's not in the vault key drop table. Because you'll get other things indirectly. You'll be able to get the thing that you really want. Yoke says, I was going to just click on factions. Yeah, I already read that. That's a great idea. Mark says, how often should I run gaps during the event? Or should I not run any at all? Like I said, like every... You know, hunt versus until you get your boss chest, and then run a gap. Hunt versus till you get a boss chest, then run your gap. Hunt versus till you get a boss chest, then run your gap. When you're as close to zero as possible on the boss chest, when you run a gap. That's what I do anyway. There's other ways to do it. Some people run gaps back to back to back to back to back. I think that's boring. This is a little bit of... At least I get to switch it up a little bit. I'm not doing the same exact thing every single time. I'm switching between two different things that are slightly different. So it makes it feel kind of better because I'm doing this 15, peri 15 minute period of time where I'm doing this. And then I'm doing something kind of a little bit different for however long. And then I go back to the other thing. Like it feels better to me the way I do it. Mark says I'm doing Cinema Mirage on both accounts and doing good so far. I love it. That's my recommendation. Cinema Mirage. So far, so good. And then Sauna with the Gifted. Oh yeah. I know that name was crazy. Mark says, $2 down payment for the Swift concert. Thank you so much. Chad with the two. The alliteration, I think it's called. I'm so far behind, y'all. I gotta catch up before I run this gap. Uh, Tyrion says, my goal was always to get more gaps than I use each vault, but I play too hard these events. Yeah, that's not bad to, like, get an extra gap every, every vault event. As long as you're not, like, stacking so many that just never, just, you're never gonna get them all done. Which I don't think that's going to be a problem for you, but I could see somebody else falling into that trap. Supernova, you're looking for another job? Oh, man. Sometimes you just got to do what you got to do. Sana says try to run a gap with a cat in your face trying to give... <laughs> Rain Man, right? Mark says just got a 40 Dragonite Gnome in Cinema Mirage. That's awesome. Supernova says, so I'm going to farm for Versus today and Paloozas till Sunday night, then seek psychiatric help about my explosive outbursts on Monday, which is why I'm Supernova! Misty says, Underworld saves loaded sigils forever, I think. Yeah, unless there's like an update or there's something that... There's something. But I think you're right. Like, you shouldn't be worried about them. You can load in like all of them. Ivy says, feels like the longer I grind, the less monomes are coming. Um, I, I never feel like that, but I know other people do. You just gotta, like, you really gotta make it a game. You know, maybe you wanna see an angel, maybe you wanna see a certain merchant. Um, maybe you're looking at the gnomes, like, while you're running a gap and trying to get a cool combination of gnomes. Um, you gotta kinda, like, make it a game inside of a game to make it to where it's not as, if you're having bad luck. Like, try to make it more fun for yourself somehow. When the doctor asked why I did, you had a vault event. Do karate and like button, turn your ticket into the train. Chad is on it. Mark is on it. Sana is on it. They're on the train. They're keeping those lights on, those doors open. Caustic Life found it. All right. I was hoping I explained it good enough. First gnomes are being stingy. That can happen. You just got to kind of run another one. Another whole boss chest. Yeah, the freaking phone. Sometimes you can't see the... Phones Phones are probably costing me. Yoke says, how much Dragonite can you grind during a Vault event? I don't know exactly. Um, You know, if you do the pause thing, if you if you keep track and you, and you set a timer for every gap, 
you know, 15 minutes and then you pause if there's a Dragonite Gnome in the last, like, two minutes, you'll definitely get way more than if you just blow through it and don't worry about it. Because they nerfed... They nerfed the rewards that you get from gnomes during a Gnomapalooza if you're going super fast because we were just getting too much. So now you kind of get a percentage of what we used to get. Like a Dragonite Gnome is supposed to drop something like 20, 40, 60 Dragonite. But now it drops like 4, 2, 6, 8 during a gap. <clears throat> but if you wait until the end and you wait till the music ends and then you kill it, you get the full drop. So make sure you're waiting on those Dragonite Gnomes if it's the last like minute or two of the gap which doesn't happen very often but keep your eyes peeled and make sure you're paying attention and, and keeping your timer so when it does happen you can get a 60 instead of a six and that'll add up like i don't know you could probably get maybe i would guess up to like 500 or so it's not like gonna be thousands you're gonna get like a lot of fives and sixes and tens and stuff and then you'll get a, an occasional like 40 60 so i'm guessing like 500 might be the max. I don't know. Somebody else out there might be able to say the exact amount. But that's still really good. That's better than any other event in the game where you would get zero. All right, here we go. I'm going to pay attention to the timer up in the left-hand corner. I'm going to go when it says 42. That way I know when I hit uh, 57 that I'm, it's going to end. Which doesn't really matter to me. I'm not going after Dragonite as hard as other people. I'm probably not even paying it pay attention. But if if you have like glory gnomes or something, you might as well wait and get the full drop. Alright, ready? Nomapalooza. Go as fast as you can. Have everything set up before you put push that button. Make sure nobody's gonna interrupt you. got 120 keys already that's pretty good today kind of sets the tone for how many you're gonna get i would say because you get more pity keys today so if you end up with like not a lot today you might not that might be like a bad omen i've had it i've had it before to where i don't go super hard on a friday and, but that kind of makes me go harder on saturday and sunday though it's not the worst thing in the world, but if you're trying to get like a bunch, like a world, like your most ever, you should probably do a lot today. My loading bar is horrible. I'm holding in buttons and then letting go. Because I'm on a controller, and I've explained this a million times, and some people still don't get it. I've not had one person say, I I totally understand what you're doing, and it's so much better now. I've had a couple people say, I don't know what you're talking about, I'm still doing it the same way I was doing it. Like, people will watch Tacit, and they'll put their, their troops in the same order as him, but they're on console, and he's not. It's not his fault that he, play, he puts his troops in a certain order. He does that because he has a mouse... He's on PC. That's the way it works the best for him. It's different when you're on a controller. The confirm button is 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 a uh, X. You have to take that into account. You hold in the left trigger. You hold in the X. You let go. Bang! You push the triangle. You win. You can preload. Preload inputs right now during the loading bar. I'm preloading inputs. As soon as I see that sister, I let go, then I'm on to the Dust Devil. Another thing, like, you know when somebody shoots a three-pointer in basketball, and they're just watching it? They shoot it, and they're kind of just watching it with their hand up, like their arm up. They shoot it, they do the follow-through, they just leave their hand up, and they're watching it. Don't do that. Don't be looking at your loot. You need to just blaze by it. Who cares what it is? We need to be on to the next battle and killing the next set of four. We don't care what we're getting for loot. Ah, I messed up that one. Your goal is 500? That's a pretty good goal. Yeah, welcome to the choir caustic life. We must pray for the new center of the choir. We must pray. 
The worst part is where you gotta pick Explore 1 again and you have to push down. It's like an extra input. You gotta be ready for it. Like every four battles or something. You gotta do a little extra down input. You're just sitting here like slamming the confirm button. Like watching YouTube or something. That's what's gonna get you every once in a while is that down input you gotta do when you're picking Explore 1 again. Wish they would get that out. I don't know how they could do it, but it'd be cool if they would get that out of there. You could just jam the X. Center depends. You got your depends on. You don't have to go to the bathroom. You can poop socket. Got a poop socket this weekend. I don't know what I'm going for. I ran my vault keys to zero. I'm trying to run my gem stack back up to 10k. Uh, I always try for at least 300. Like, I don't think I've ever not got at least 300. There might have been, like, one vault event where I got, like, 250 or something. I was being lazy. And I think it was when I had a bunch of vault keys. That's why I tell you guys. It's like mental gymnastics. You don't want to have... You don't want to come into the vault event with 500 vault keys or 1,000 vault keys or 2,000 vault keys. You're going to, like, probably not care and do, like, 200. I think that's the one time I didn't get 300. I'm talking, like, as a end game player. Like, of course, when I was mid-game or beginner, like, I was only getting 100 or 200. or They didn't even really have gaps and stuff when I was a beginner. I don't even think they had gaps when I was a mid-game player. I, was, I think I was in end-game when gaps came out. That doesn't really correlate. I can't say... I think every single vault event I've got at least 300 vault keys since Noma Paloozas. I was thinking like there might have been one time I got like 200 something. Like something was going on that weekend. Uh, Chatathon, I think next weekend. I'm glad that, that it happened that way because I, I don't think I'd feel up to it right now. I don't feel good enough today to be think like having to do it tomorrow morning or something. I kind of like that. I don't know. I think that's the way I was leaning the entire time was to do the chatathon on the last weekend of March. I just feel like there's so many different things we can do. It's going to be less boring. I know more people watch when you're doing a vault event and like they're doing it too and it's kind of like camaraderie and stuff like that. Something to listen to and watch while you're like grinding. But like we have a good live stream this weekend and then we have like a chatathon next weekend like why combine it into one we can do pvp we can do whatever the weekend event is we can do under spire we can do epic trials if you want uh, you know you can make me play treasure hunt like maybe that's what we'll do somebody donates they can make me play treasure hunt i've always had that in my back pocket sometimes that's what you got to do you got to do something that you don't want to do like, people like to see people do stuff they don't want to do. You guys know I hate Treasure Hunt. And if you even kind of like it, just to see me playing it, might be worth it to you. So it could be something like that for the uh, Chatathon. Like if, if, you, if you donate, you could request a Treasure Hunt matchup. If you want. Make sure to use the restroom before the gap, for sure. Get a drink. Go tell everybody, <laughs> you know. Okay, I'm not uh, available for the next 15 minutes, sorry. Do you need anything? Do you? Do you need anything? Do you? Do we got, you want to go to the, yeah? You need to go up to the corner store? You need anything from in here? Are you sure? You don't need toilet paper? Like, are we good? You'll make sure you. Don't be, uh. Free balling it. Just running it. And then people are gonna interrupt you. We're going to 57. We got 8 minutes left. We're about halfway through. I'm just hoping for a bunch of vault keys. That's it. Bunch of epics. What I really want is Epic Vault Keys, because that's where you get the uh, 900 gem drops. 
you watch, verse gnomes are really rare inside of a gap because they don't really want you like rolling into the next gap. So they make them super rare during a gap. So if you happen to see a verse gnome during your gnoma palooza, that's like something to celebrate because it doesn't happen very often. I got a glory, I got two mechs, and a glory. Glory's good, mech is not good. But they all have a potential to drop the vault key, so it's fine. Two mechs, a daemon, and a glory. The mechs and the daemon are crappy. The glory is good. But they all have potential to drop a vault key. Or an epic vault key. Treasure gnome's okay. Got the jewel gnome. That one sucks. I think you can get. Can you get diamonds from the jewel gnome though? Some people might like the jewel gnome. I don't need diamonds anymore though. Couple treasure gnomes. I'll take it. <clears throat> what I don't want to see is like a mech gnome, a daemon gnome, a jewel gnome, and like a yeah, another mech gnome. That's horrible. Like I like this one right here. I would take this every time almost. Just one daemon gnome with a couple glories and a treasure. Blizzard in southern Michigan? Oh my goodness. We had a little bit of snow. Remember that day you said it was snowing? And I said, whoa, that's crazy. Well, it like snowed a little bit later that day. I was like, whoa, he was right. Mark was right. It's supposed to rain here today or snow or something. We're supposed to have some sort of uh, rain or something. Blizzard... Yoke says, back in the day, you could tell if someone was an in-game player or not by their level. They could be high level and not be in-game. Yeah, nowadays, you really... They could be... They could be. They could have Death Knight armor and the Ring of Wonders and... Well, check it out. I got one. I got Baz in, in my gap. That's sweet. Yeah, I don't think level... Level is like, kind of... If you're level 100, of course you're a beginner. And if you're level 2000, of course you're an endgame player. But if you're level 1200, you don't nobody you, nobody can say what you are. You could either have Death Knight armor, Ring of Wonders, and run every XP booster you get, or you could have nothing. You could be totally free to play. If you're free to play, your level is going to be lower. You're going to get to the end game at a lower level. So me being 1542, if I had the Death Knight armor and whatever else, I, sh I would probably be like, who knows, 1800, 2000, I don't know. So you can't really tell unless you like talk to the person and like see what they got otherwise. Hero level doesn't really tell you. Once you get past, like, 1,200, you really can't tell. I remember being, like, 12... Almost 1,300 or so. I was probably, like, 1,290-something. Thinking I was in-game, because I had pretty much everything. I thought I was at least early in-game back then. But other people would say 1,200 is, like, mid-game. But it probably is if you have Death Knight armor and everything like that. Like you have a extra, you get extra experience for every single kill you do. Ooh, a Dragonite gnome. See, if I was somebody else, I might wait. There's like two and a half minutes left. That's pretty. If you're desperate for Dragonite, you would have sat there and waited. Because that's like within parameters of not being crazy to. Waste the rest of that gap for that extra Dragonite if you're going for Stellarix. For me, it's going to have to be in like the last like 30 seconds. Chad says you might be getting the same system as we are, Mark. It's snowing here as well. I already snowblowed the driveway. Two hundred twenty two VP is the most I've seen so far. Really? I got three hundred and twelve. Pretty sure you guys remember that when I was doing a blood frenzy with a VP talisman. 
Pretty sure I got like 312. Mark says, yeah, Chad, it looks like you're over that. Yeah. Oops. See? Clip Bomb, do you not have your gem collector, a.k.a. bucket with a cushy seat cover? Death Knight armor is. The sooner you buy it, the better. You, can, you don't want to be farting around at level 1000 and not and then buy it. If you're going to play this game, that's one thing somebody should tell you as soon as possible. Like, hey, if you're ever thinking about spending any kind of money on this game, you need to buy the Death Knight armor like right now. The longer you wait, the worse, the less value it is. The longer you wait, the the sooner you buy it, the better the value. I'm about the level too, man. That's gonna slow me down. But we're almost done here. We got 40 seconds left. 57s when it's gonna end. I'll show you all about uh, like if you look at the loot, we got four chaos shards there. We'll try to look at the loot of, like, a glory gnome or something. You can tell what I mean about it ner being nerfed. 20 sapphires. Uh-oh. I leveled. I might be able to fit in one more battle. If I hurry. Oh, it's gonna be close. It's gonna be close. We gotta get it in there. We gotta get it in there. Did we get it? Ooh, yeah, it's the last battle. Like, no matter what. You hear the music change? You used to have to push a button to make the music change, but they fixed that. So much better now. You couldn't tell. You had to, like, push a button or, do a, or, or match some gems or something to make the music change. This was, like, two vault events ago. It wasn't something that's... Now the music changes no matter what, it, it seems like. Has anybody else noticed that? So there's no more... Din, din, is there's no, the, the Noma Palooza music's over. Like, it's the regular Gems of War music. That means you're going to get the full drop value for all these gnomes. So we could sit here for an hour if we wanted to, but we're just wasting time if we do that. Now I'll get the full drop from the Treasure Gnome, the full drop, drop from the Jewel Gnome, the full drop from the Soul Gnome. Which, these aren't going to be impressive, because three of them are crappy. But... I wish it was a Dragonite Gnome, because that shows it so much better. Did you see I got 5,000 souls? If we were, if that was during a gap, that would have been like 50 souls. And this is what I'm talking about as far as soul farming. You don't need to soul farm, because you're while you're running this vault event, you're getting 5,000 soul drops here and there the entire time. And then you're going to open your vault keys and get more souls. It's not as good as, like, gold. I think gold is a better example of, like, the thing you don't need to farm because of vault keys. But souls is up there. It, like, makes it to where you don't have to farm them as much, at least. Somehow we got two diamonds, but we got a vault key. Let's go see how many we got. Usually check after every gap, see how many I got. See if I'm, like, doing good or if I'm having bad luck or did I get enough epics. Grab our pities. Ooh, we got our bonus level. Hmm, should I just grab all this? How much is it? One, two, three, four. Are we going to play for an hour? Maybe. Maybe. I think I'm just going to grab it all. I don't really care about XP booster that much. Ten vault keys. That's quite a bit. I was, I was a little bit off on, about, on, on how many pities you would get from your first gap. Get a lot. Right, I'm already up to 6,100 uh, gems. We're on our way to that 7,000 that I was hoping for. Dragonite hasn't gone up at all, really. Can... Our verses are fine. Like, we replenished the one that we used, at least. What's the point of having 20 of them if we're just going to keep replenishing the one that we lose anyway? 
so you can run them back to back to back. All right, let's get rid of some, uh, like, keys. Who cares? You can set this up so it's nicer for you. Really, I just want to <clears throat> look at this. 6,100 gems. And then 33 vault keys. That's really good, but, you know, 10 of them were pities. So really, I got like 27, which is really, really good, honestly, for my first gap. 27 vault keys. That's great. You're looking for something around 20. It depends what you're using. If you're using Rowan, it's more towards the 15. If you're using the best team in the game, like all Ironhawks, it's more towards like the 25. But you meet in the middle, it's something like 20 per gap. So if you have however many gaps, you can pretty much know how many vault keys you're going to get. Like, if you know I'm going to run 10 gaps this weekend, you can go 10 times 20, you're going to get 200 vault keys. At least. Same with the epics, you can tell. Like, if I get 33 vault keys, I should get at least 3 epic vault keys. I'm over drop rate right now, that's nice. I got 4 out of 33. And a lot of them were, were a pity, which has nothing to do with... So I really got way over drop rate on these epics, it's nice. Same with the verses. I probably normally I don't even get a verse during a gap, but I got one that I needed, which is crazy. So we're really we're going good. And now's not the time. Like I'm not going to run another gap. I'm going to go and this is when I keep going with the verses. That's how you prevent yourself from getting into the situation where you don't have the verse you need. And then you have to run like two or three boss chests in a row. The way you prevent that is you still hunt for verses in between gaps even if you have a gap. You want to keep them, keep them up so you never run into zero. You don't want zero. All right, here we go. We're going to copy this team. Copy. That way, when it's time to run the next gap, I can just paste it in. We don't want to waste time. We go find Ironhawk. I think I did it the stupid way. Yep. We'll learn. Where you at, dude? The more I do this this weekend, the better I'll get. Back to this. I don't care that I have three gaps right now. I'm going to go hunt versus until I get to my boss chest anyway. So I can make sure I have a gap. Anytime I want to run one, I want to be able to run it. This is like how you make that happen. Alright, let's see what y'all were saying. Since I was doing a gap, I probably missed a couple of chats yeah death knight armor man first thing you should buy in the game and as soon as possible unless you're going to play free to play that's a like as soon as you start playing this game you should make that decision as soon as possible are you going to be free to play or are you going to spend money the sooner you can decide that the better you're going to be free to play. It's kind of like a thing you got to stick with forever because you're going to get less value. Like you should have already bought that stuff a long time ago. I would feel stupid buying the Death Knight armor now. I would feel like a complete idiot. I didn't get to use it at all for the first 1500 levels. I'm dumb. I would never buy Death Knight armor this deep into the game. Now if I did a new account playthrough and I'm on level like 10 or something, that's the time to buy the Death Knight armor if it's there. I don't know when it pops up. I think it's immediately. As soon as possible, buy the Death Knight armor. If you're going to ever spend a penny on this game, you should just wait and save up $20. Nothing else is going to help you as much anyway. So there's no sense in like spending $2 here and $5 there and $2 here and $5 there. Just save it up and buy the Death Knight armor. It gives you extra gold, extra souls, and extra experience. The thing I keep saying is the experience because I don't care about the gold and souls. Because never, I'm never in need of gold and souls, but other people do care. So... Gives you 100% extra of all that stuff. Gold, souls, and experience. $20, you're paying for the game, you put it on, you never take it off. Now you're getting 100% extra gold, souls, and experience. Gotta do it as soon as possible so it's got the best value. The longer you wait, the worse, worse it is. If you're ever going to spend a penny on the game, you should decide and save up for the Death Knight armor instead. Mark says, once you get your gem stack up, Cinny, will you do a complete Underspire one of these weeks? Underspire impresses me a lot. Of course. Yeah, as soon as I get to 10k, that's my goal. 
I want to get to 10k gems and I'm going to run Underspire every week. All the way to 7. So I do need those orbs, but they're just always, they're always going to be there. It's not like something that disappears and is going to be gone one day. Like it's always going to be there, so I'm not like in a super big hurry. I wanted to get Stellarix and the Epic Trials out of the way, and I've got them both out of the way completely. Unless they put in more Starry Pets or whatever they're called. I got that, or if they put another dragon in, which they might one day. I got Diamantina, I got Stellarix, and I got all the Epic Trial Pets. That is, I'm done. I don't have to spend another gem on either, none of that stuff. There's people out there with none of that, and they gotta spend tons of gems, still. I, I'm good. I'm, I'm going up. My gem stack is going up now. I have nothing, there's nothing I need to spend gems on. So once I get back up to 10k, I'm gonna do the Underspire every week, yeah. Which one shouldn't be too long. I feel like I'm going to be there in a week or something. Maybe a two weeks max. Like next week I probably won't do it. The week after that maybe not. But the week after that probably. So we're only looking at like a couple weeks. Sauna says my ult is level 1200 plus. But still crappy troop and lack of stats and mythics. You know how it goes though Sauna. You probably got Rowan. You probably got Goblins. You probably got Underspire troops. You got King Gob, Truffle Queen, Beatrix. You got Gargoyles. You probably got <laughs> Magma Dragons. You probably got Ferocity, Finesse. Like, you're, you're probably still good to go, though. Gar says, dang, it's been in the 60s or 70s here in Washington State. Dr. Mop says, Merchant wants 360 gems for an Epic Vault Key. I didn't buy. Would you have bought it? No. That's too much. If you open that Epic Vault Key, are you going to get 360 gems back? Think of it that way. Most likely not. That's like buying a scratcher. Depends how much of a gambler you are. That's a bad deal in my opinion, because 9 times out of 10, you're not going to get gems back out of that Epic Vault Key. You might as well just like do the Vault Event and get Epic free ones. Why would you sit there and buy one for 360 gems when you're, you're, you're lucky if you get 300 out of it? Like the normal gem drop for an Epic Vault Key is like 300 gems, right? And if you get lucky, it's like tripled up to 900. And it's hard to get that 300 to, go, to drop. Normally you get like a dirty picture of Cedric. So let's say you buy the Epic Vault Key for 360 gems. You open that Epic Vault Key and you get a dirty picture of Cedric. You just wasted 360 gems most likely. So it was a good job not buying it. Because you're just you're getting them for free right now. Just keep getting them for free. Don't buy them. Uh Dr. Mop says, I got 12 Vault Keys and 3 Epic Vault Keys for my only gap so far. I use 3 times Iron Hawk and Dust Devil on level 1. Can't go faster on my tab. Oh, no. It's a little bit below drop rate. Um, yeah, I don't know. I would have to, like, watch you play to tell you what, how to, yeah. I don't know. Tablets are probably just harder. I, it probably depends what you're on to. Like, a tablet seems like the hardest way to play the game, in my opinion, but I don't know. The only thing I've ever played this game on is a phone, the computer, and a uh, PlayStation. And, like, the phone was probably the hardest. Just too small. I don't know. Yoke says, what armor do you have on Cinny? <clears throat> it's like Dragon or Celestial. I don't even remember. You can, um... There's an armor bonus that you equip, and then there's an armor, like, cosmetic. There's two different things. They're not the same. So there's an armor you wear for your cosmetic purposes. So you can like look a certain way. And then there's an armor bonus that you equip. So the armor I'm wearing is probably like the winter armor or something like that. But it's not for the bonuses. It's just for the look. Then the armor bonus that I'm equipping is probably either... It's probably dragon. Dragon armor for the gold. I don't care about souls. Souls are like... I'm never going to need souls again. I'm never going to equip something that gives me extra souls. Gold, I can... Gold, you kind of always need. Souls will become obsolete. Or you'll just have so many. Like, of course, like if I went and meddled every single troop. But that's never going to happen. Somebody could say, like, oh, yeah, well, if you meddle every troop, like, you're going to have to use this many souls. But that's just never going to happen. I'm never going to have enough metals to go metal every troop at the same time like it's going to happen slowly over time and all the while i'm going to be getting souls too 
So it's not like a problem. So I wear I wear the extra gold armor is what I wear. I feel like that's more of a something I actually need. Could give to guild tasks and get certain things that I might need. Souls I can never do that. Let's see how many I get. Okay, so it's a Dragonite Gnome. He could drop like 10. He could drop 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Something like that. Let's see how many I get. Now that I don't need it, I guarantee it's 40 or 60. Maybe a 20. We'll see. 50, I told you. That's his second best drop, I think. Now that I don't need it, it's just like spewing all over the place. I got a 50, Garth. Holy cow. Yeah, dragon armor is my... <clears throat> and that's what I'd recommend for most of y'all, too. If you don't have Death Knight, you should wear a dragon. Because gold is going to keep you in a guild. Like, you don't want to run out of gold and not be able to give to your guild tasks. If you run out of souls, that's not going to affect anything. Like, you're not going to get kicked out of your guild if you have zero souls. But you will get kicked out of your guild if you have zero gold. If you have zero gold for four weeks straight, you're going to get kicked out. If you have zero souls for four weeks straight, you're never going to get kicked out of a guild. Nobody cares how many souls you got. That's like your problem. Gold can affect other people. Souls cannot. Most guilds will say you got to give this much gold per week to the guild tasks. So we can get our stats... We can get our, our, our stuff. That's never going to happen with souls. You could have <clears throat> you could have zero souls for three months straight. And nobody in your guild would even notice. Effley says the next best investment after the Death Knight armor is Cynical. That's the truth. I agree with that. I'll save you money. I'll definitely save you money. I play the game free to play. If you do it the same way as me, you can save money. Not play, not pay anything. I'll teach you exactly how to not pay for anything. And that saves you money. So yeah, if you want to invest in something else after Death Knight Armor, invest in Cinecool. Keep this channel going so I can keep giving advice. You're on PC and I'd rather use Iron Rowan than Ironhawk. I don't know about that, but I used to kind of do that. I can't, you know, if I'm leveling, I used to kind of, like, I don't know. I can't, it's kind of like, um, what's going on? Oh. It's kind of like me saying you should, like, g getting on the scouts in Tower of Doom when I don't scout. Like, it feels bad, man. Like, I don't like chastising the scouts because I never scout. I used to run Rowan to level classes during the Vault of it, so it feels bad to say... You're doing something wrong. I feel bad for your vault keys and all your other loot, but... And I know I should be telling you to do Iron Hawks. Okay, we got an angel. We gotta be... Quick. Quick, quick, quick. Celestial. That gold ring isn't worth barely anything. Celestial I don't really need either, but at least it's something valuable. Gavin is here. Gavin says, Hey, Cindy, is Dragonite worth the purchase from the merchant if you're on low level? Um, are you buying the dungeon offer every day? If you're not buying the dungeon offer every day, you probably should skip it. It's the same price. I think that's the way people... I think that's what's up. When I was buying the dungeon offer every day, like I was... I got all six dragons and all I needed was some Dragonite to go craft Stellarix... I was buying the dungeon offer every single day. I would buy those offers too because it's the same exact price. So they're not showing you something that's like some good value. It's the same price. So if you're not buying the dungeon offer every day, you shouldn't buy that one either. Like here it is. Perfect example, dude. That's crazy. Perfect example right here. See how it's 150 gems for 30 Dragonite? The dungeon offer is 60 Dragonite for 300 gems. It's the same thing. So if you're buying the dungeon offer every day, you buy this too. If you're not buying the dungeon offer every single day, you do not buy this. It's 
the same exact thing. So keep the same energy. Right here, I would do nothing. I'm not going to buy either one. I don't need the Dragonite. I don't need the Mythic Ingots. I'm not wasting 100,000 gold. And I'm not buying the Dungeon Offer. So I'm going to practice what I preach. I'm going to skip out on both of them. See, if I stop and explain a Merchant Offer or an Angel Offer, at least I'm teaching you guys. But I hope you guys do it as quickly as possible and get out of there. That was crazy, uh, Gavin. Can you believe that popped up right after you talked about it? You must uh, be Professor Xavier or something. Supernova says, have you guys seen everything everywhere all at once? I have not. Is it good? I got a bunch of movies here. I was going to ask you guys which ones I should watch, but you guys never really say. I don't really watch movies a lot. I'm a YouTube dude. I make YouTube videos, do live streams, and then I watch YouTube and that's it. I don't even watch TV. I'm all in on YouTube. If I'm on my phone, I'm on YouTube. If I'm on my PlayStation, I'm on YouTube. If I'm on my computer, I'm on YouTube. Because you can look up anything you want. Like, almost. There's like a couple shows you can't watch on YouTube and that's it. They have to be, like, brand new shows on whatever channel. Which I don't really care. I just got 100 gems for killing those green troops. Remember to do your adventure board. You'll get one of those, just like I did, and get extra gems. Complete them every day, that way you can get a new one the next day. Or else it'll still be there. And you won't get a new one. I think that's something some people don't understand, or they overlook. That adventure board, the top part. Everybody stares at the three. You go into the adventure board, what's, where's your eyes go? My eyes always go on the three, like, battle, you know, you go into the battles. Your eyes aren't, uh, drawn to that top line. So I can see people overlooking it or forgetting about it. White pet food or sacred treasure? I'll take the white pet food because it's for gold. And I don't care about gold. Gems now. Gems. I could run out of gems. If I was buying every merchant offer, I would go down. My gem stack would go down during a vault event. Hey, I got Baz. You see what I mean? I think that's the one I need. So in the time that I was hunting verses, I got the verse I needed for the next gap after the one I'm doing very shortly. So we can keep, now we're good. We're going to do this again and again, and we're good to go. This is how I play. I don't know if other people play it like this. I think they do. Like, I only watch one other person, so I can't, I haven't watched him do the vault of it in a while, though. I got Cindy now. That's perfect. That's like the other one I need. I think this is how he plays it too, though. If I was to guess and say, like, how does he play? How does Tacit play? <clears throat> Probably like this. My voice is worse than usual because I have a sore throat and a headache. <clears throat> Ivy says, can you get more than Gnome and Explore? Would be cool to see four Gnomes drop. Can you get more than one? I think so. It's just really rare because, like, it, there's a roll of the dice. Every time a, a, a troop appears during a vault event, there's, like, a roll of the dice, right? So let's say it's a ten-sided die. And they roll the die every every before every battle for each slot. And if it, if it lands on ten, it's a gnome. And if it lands on one through nine, it's not a gnome. But it goes up, like, during a Vault Event, it's probably more than that. It's probably, like, if it lands on 9 or 10, it's a gnome. So. So it's going to roll that for every slot. And it's going to be hard to be able to get, like, two gnomes. But it'll happen sometimes. I haven't seen it very often, but I think it's possible. And then, like, once it rolls that, if it determines that it's going to be a gnome in there, it'll roll it again and tell you, is it going to be a treasure gnome, a jewel gnome, a, a dragonite gnome, a, a verse gnome. And like the dragonite, the curse gnome, and the um, 
verse gnomes are on like the harder side. So once it determines it's going to be a gnome, it rolls the dice again if it's a 10-sided die, which I don't even know if that exists. Um, it's going to, you know, if it's 9 or 10, it'll be a verse gnome. But if it's 1 through 8, it's going to be something else. So it's hard to get a verse gnome because it has to roll that 9 or 10 and then it has to roll that 9 or 10 again back to back. Because the verse gnome, the dragonite gnome, and the curse gnome are rarer than the other gnomes. And a gnome is rarer than a regular enemy. I think during, it's probably like a lot. Like during a vault event, it's probably like if 8, 9, or 10. Because they make it more... You'll see a gnome like every three or four battles or something, so... They gotta turn... That's just that's basically all a vault event is. They turn it up a little bit. They give you pity keys and they turn it up. Because when it's not a vault event, yeah, you roll that dice, it might as well be like a hundred-sided die, and you're going to get a gnome when it's like 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, yeah. But when it's a 1 through 95, it's not a gnome, so you barely ever get gnomes when it's not a vault event. And that pet popping up in my face, wasting my time. Thank you for whoever did that. You guys want me to rant about pets now or no? Have you heard of, heard about the rant, the pet rant, enough? You should not be doing them during a vault event. Somebody's out there doing it. Because I got one popped up in my face. So somebody's playing the game wrong. I don't even have to, like, know. Like, I just know because a pet popped up. And they're playing it wrong. Like, I'm not going to get a pet gnome during while I'm doing Explore. So they're obviously not doing Explore. They're wasting their time in PvP or something. Which is... The other part of the not getting... Like, you have to be doing PvP to get a pet gnome. PvP is slower than Explore. That's like the other side of not doing pet rescues. The per the person that makes the pet the pet pop up is wasting time. I didn't even like... I've never even said that before. Like, I'm always worried about like going and doing the pet rescue and how that's a waste of time because you're stopping your vault event grind to go get one copy of a random pet. When you don't need it. You don't need it. What about the person that's popping those pets up? They gotta be wasting so much time doing PvP or something that takes way longer. And not getting vault keys and not running gaps and... To make stupid pet gnomes pop up. They're... That's even worse. If you're making the pet gnomes pop up, that's even worse. And that person is making a pet pop up on 30 people's screens. Who, they're in the middle of a vault event. They're in the middle of a gap. And all of a sudden they have to push an extra button because you got a pet gnome. Like, I wish everybody would get on the same page and play the game right. That way we could not have any pets pop up during our freaking vault event. Because that's an extra button I have to push now. Thank you so much. You made 30 people push push an extra button. Like, that's a lot of time you wasted. Like, 15 seconds or something. You just wasted a lot, uh, 15 seconds of our vault event because you popped that pet up on my screen. And then, like, some, some people are going to go and do it. Then they're going to go waste five minutes. So that, just add up all the time. Like, if somebody's popping up pets on your screen, all the time that they're wasting... Across the entire guild. It's crazy. It's a lot of time. Because like 10 people are going to go do that pet right now. Times 5 minutes. That's 50 minutes. And then if all you add up all the seconds. Where they're popping pets up on your screen. You have to push an extra button. That's probably like a whole hour. There goes an hour of the vault event down the drain. Because people are popping pets up on your screen. Alright we got our team. I think my controller is starting to have some drift or something. Must have dropped it. I hate that for Elden Ring. Alright, let's lock this in. Even if you can get a pet rescue done in three minutes. I'm just like saying, like, and on average, it probably takes people like five minutes or so. Because not everybody's blazing through it with Stellarix. And the world record is like two minutes or something. It's not one minute. It's eight battles that could take 30 seconds each. And if you add a little bit, if it's a little bit more than 30 seconds, that's what I'm saying, like five minutes or so. It's a lot of time. You know, that's a, a quarter, a quarter of a gap. If you go and run, if you go do that pet, that's a quarter of a gap you could have been doing. Now, how many vault keys did I get from my last gap? 25. So you're trading. Would you do that? Are you going to trade eight vault keys for one copy of a pet? I hope not. 
I hope you wouldn't. You would trade eight vault keys for one copy of that stupid pet that popped up? Because you're going to get one, you know it. Well, you're going to get two? Or what? No, I'm going to get three. When do you need 31? You need 37? Whatever it is. 31, I think. You need 30 plus. You're going to get one or two or three. Probably one. You're going to trade eight vault keys for one copy of a stupid pet. Think of it that way. That's a, that's a third of a, of a gap that you're going and wasting time. And if you're not running a gap, that's a verse you could have gotten. Now you're complaining you don't got Cindy or something. Well, you could have been for five minutes hunting verses, but you're doing that stupid pet over there. You're jumping out of the money machine to pick up a dime. All right, so let's double check. Everything before I get going, I want to see. All right, 33 vault keys, four epics. We got four gaps right now. That's nice. We just keep going up and up and up. All right, 33 and four. And four. 33, four, and four. I just want to keep, see how many I get this time, you know? I'll catch up in the chat before I run it. I go down. You go down. Stop going up. Go down, dummy. Saves time. Uh... Gar says, we know what you really want to watch, Cindy. That's Taylor Swift's concert. <laughs> yeah. She's really not, like, my cup of tea, honestly. Like, I don't mind her music, but it's, like, as far as, like... She's a little bit... I don't know. I need a little more more meat on the bones. He's like, Gavin says I do not buy the daily Dragonite because I wasn't sure if that is where I should invest my limited gems. Yeah, it depends how many you got and stuff, Gavin. If you only got two thousand gems, you should not be buying Dragonite. You should just try for perfects. You should just do the vault super hard, get your gem stack up, get some Dragonite right now. If you got 10,000 gems, you should probably buy the dungeon offer every day. You always got to set your own little, like, this is how many gems I never want to go under. This is how many gems I feel comfortable buying certain things. Like, you got to decide that for yourself. Because there you got the dungeon, you got Epic Trials, you got Underspire. There's so many things you could or could not spend gems on every week. You kind of got to decide for yourself, like, all right, I got 2,000 gems. That means I can't do this and I can't do that. I better just do my guild event and that's all because I'm... Down below 2,000 gems now. I'm not buying the dungeon offer this week because I'm too low. But here comes the vault event. I'm going to go replenish my gem stack. And maybe next week I can buy the dungeon offer. After I open all my vault keys. Because you got to do your guild event. Like, that's a given. Your guild gives you a certain amount of gems from the guild tasks. Then you're supposed to take those and put them back into the guild event. And that's what everybody should do the first thing they do with their gems every week. You shouldn't be, like, being selfish and going and buying dungeon offers with those gems that they give you from your guild tasks. You should put them right back into the guild event. But it's, it's like all... It's, it depends. So if you're not buying the dungeon offer every day, you should not buy that Dragonite offer from uh, the merchant. Mark says, YouTuber here. Also, the TV is just background noise. Gar says, I need more axles. Gavin says, I have to remember to switch my class every 250 fights. Yeah, they'll send you the weapon in the mail. You can, like, check your mail. Like, when you're checking your pity keys or something, just go see if you got the weapon or not. Or you can just go to the class and see how close you are. Yeah, you should check. Make sure you don't, like, overdo. Because this guy, it only pops up. Like, you won't even notice it, probably, when it pops up. And you get, it just says you have mail. It doesn't even tell you you got the weapon. I think it just says you got mail. And that could happen for many different reasons, so... You kind of have to keep your eye on it, like, go to the class or go to your mail. Chad needs more Cindy's. Gar says, trade you. I got more Cindy's and Gene Simmons's. It's the pet rant. Dr. Mop says, you can turn off alerts so that may turn off pet pop-ups. Oh, for real? That'd be cool. And he's off. My cat is staring at the computer. Take a drink. I know. I don't know where the heck... I never bring anything. I'm always so late that I forget a drink. I don't have anything. Maybe I'll take a break after this. <sighs> Your dog likes watching EverQuest? 
Tyrion pressed the button in like a second. Mark says, I am in Cinny's guild. I am sorry, but I didn't trigger pet. Honey's good for a sore throat. I know, I just never have it because we don't use it for anything. Like, the only reason we would have honey is for sore throats. How much time am I losing on my pet rant? Well, I'm helping, but I'm helping. I'm helping hundreds of people with the pet rant. Somebody triggering a pet is only hurting 30 people. They're not helping anybody. I'm explaining. When I'm sitting here talking about the Vault Event, I'm helping people by explaining it. So, yeah, when I'm not streaming, I'm playing the game. The way I'm telling you to play the game is how I'm playing the game when I'm not streaming. When I'm streaming and there's chat and I'm explaining things, of course it's going to be it's going to look crazy like I'm not playing the game right. Like I shouldn't be sitting here looking at this Noma Palooza forever either. I'm telling you guys how to play it. Like don't do what I do, do what I say. That's what I do when I'm not on stream. I'm just brr, 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 I'm playing it the way I'm telling you to play it. I'm not just like telling you to do it and not doing it myself. Tyrion says, I don't ever remember getting upset about a pet rescue pop-up. <laughs> yeah, I'm exaggerating a little bit, Tyrion. It's not that bad. I'm trying to, like, add on to the absurdity of doing a pet rescue during a vault event. I'm, like, adding up all the little things to make it worse and worse and worse. You know what I'm saying? Yay, Garth got another Cindy. Mark says, you can level up class without using a weapon. I did not know that. You can get the class weapon without using the class you can get the class weapon without using the hero is what i mean but you can't get class experience without using the hero it's like two different things the class weapon you need 250 victories to get the class weapon class experience is like you have the class equipped you're using the hero you're getting class experience towards 100 there's two different things what we're talking about is the class weapon every class has a weapon you got to equip the class and get 250 victories, and they send you a weapon in the mail. And there's some good ones. There's like five or six good ones that you need to go get. And it's free. You just got to win 250 victories. That's it. And you don't even have to use your hero. You just equip the class. You can do Stella. You can do Talk Hawka. You can do Iron Hawks. You don't even need to have your hero on the team for the weapon. But yeah, to get class experience, you do have to use your hero. But to get the class weapon, you don't. You can do the Vault Event, do Rowan. You can do... Iron Hawks or Stellarix or whatever. <clears throat> nah, don't ever think like a certain gnome is hiding in a certain kingdom. It's all this. You just you should do the same kingdom over and over and over and over. Don't switch around. Like that's the way you you're gonna waste time by jumping around to different kingdoms. Stay in stay in freaking Santa Mirage and never leave it. It doesn't. You're never gonna like go to a different kingdom and get a certain first gnome because you switched. That's just wasting time. That's that's not a good thing to switch kingdoms. All right, so when we get to 34, I'll do this. I'll run it, and then we'll go. It'll be 30, uh, 49. And then I'll get some water, and we'll probably finish quickly after that because I don't know how long I'm gonna go today. I'm trying. I'm kind of feeling better. You guys make me feel better sometimes. I'm like distracted a little bit. Distracted a little bit. How's the train doing? Sauna ran out there. Chad went out to help. Mark as well. We got the three stooges out there. The three musketeers. Caustic life. Ooh, you did first day out, dude. Appreciate that. So, yeah. You guys are, like, cranking it up. That's pretty good. I'll say you got it. You got to start it. I don't think we've gone anywhere yet, but you got it started. We just got to weld on that fart pipe and put on that music, and we're off to the races. We're pretty close. Next person, probably welding on the fart pipe. Probably turning up the music. All right, I'm, now, I'm waiting until 35 now because I went on the train rant. Maybe I can swallow enough spit to talk correctly. Nah, Gavin, I'm not on Twitch. It doesn't work right. It doesn't work good on PlayStation for some reason. I can never get it. I can't even watch Twitch. So I can't imagine, like, trying to stream on there. Doesn't work. I wouldn't, like, that'd be a good idea. Like, I wish... It's kind of like buying the Death Knight armor. If I was going to do Twitch, I should have started Twitch, like, four years ago. 
Like, now would not be the time. I should have been doing YouTube and Twitch this entire time. But nah, I'm not on Twitch. <clears throat> I like Twitch a little bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. Should probably call it around the two minute, two hour mark so I don't lose my voice. I don't think I will, but. I don't want to risk it with the sore throat and stuff. We'll run this gap, then we'll hunt some verses, and then we'll be out of here. So make sure you ask your questions in the next, like, 30 minutes or so. If you got any. Shouldn't be too many questions for a VOD event. You just, if you know what you're doing, you're kind of just doing that and that's it. You don't really deviate. Yeah, well, that's confirmation bias, Garth. I play, I stay in the same kingdom every single VOD event. And I do just fine. You guys have been seeing it live on the screen. Like, I'm getting verses, I'm getting vault keys. I'm doing just fine. And I'm staying in the same kingdom. I'm not jumping around. I think jumping around just wastes time. You're going to end up in a kingdom that they survive or they have a barrier. You know, you're just going to waste time jumping around trying to find a different kingdom. I think everybody that's watching should be in Center Mirage because you know it works. And you don't have to, like, waste time looking around. Like, I'm giving you the cheat code. You don't have to look around for yourself. You know that Cinema Mirage works. If something else works, let me know. But that means you had to jump around and look for it. So, I mean, I'm glad. You know, you might be helping other people, but you didn't help yourself by jumping around like that. Normally, you can either do Wild Plains or Cinema Mirage. <clears throat> depending on what the uh, week is. So I would start there in every vault event. Start in Wild Plains and Cinema Mirage. Like the day before, you should be looking at... Alright, well we got Undead has extra stats this week. So we better go see how many Undead are in Wild Plains. That's what I did yesterday on stream. Like where are we going to go? Where are we going to go tomorrow? I'm, I was deciding yesterday. Uh, I switch if I'm not getting much of a verse I need. It's like if fishing, is there not something biting? I mean, I don't agree, but if it worked for you, you know how it is. I'm just not gonna, I'm not gonna let everybody else think it's gonna work for them. We're kind of like offsetting each other with our examples. I'm staying in the same pot spot and doing just fine, and I'm not like skipping around and wasting time. You went to a different kingdom and you got the thing you needed. So we're kind of canceling each other out. I just got an epic vault key! I saw that. Looks like cotton candy or something. Looks yummy. I love some epic vault keys. If I could get anything out of a gap, I would want a bunch of epic vault keys. Those are my favorite to open, too. The freaking 900 gem drops are so satisfying. But yeah, when I'm off stream, I'm playing how I say it, how I suggest you guys play. I'm not like all of a sudden switching to Rowan. I'm not all of a sudden switching to Tesla. I'm not all of a sudden doing pet rescues or something. Like I'm the way I'm telling you guys to play is how I play when I'm like playing off stream. I'm not jumping around to different kingdoms. You know, I'm not doing underspire. I might run. I might do the raid. I might. Because my guild, we don't have it done yet. It's only four battles or something. Like, I might go do that. That'd be the worst thing. Like, somebody is looking over my shoulder and saying, No, 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 now, Sinny. You said not to do that. Like, the one thing I maybe, you could catch me doing, is maybe doing the guild event. Because I know we need more help, like, more help to get it done. It's like... 
But I'm not going to be sitting there doing underspire. I guarantee it. And I won't be doing PvP. What I should have done today is go collect my PvP goals so I could have my gold and soul boosters. But now I might as well wait. Oops. Because I'm only playing for like 20 more minutes. And I don't want to waste it, so... The next time I play, which will probably be tonight, I'll grab my uh, PvP uh, goals and get my gold and soul boosters for while I'm doing this. That could be one thing you do, like to spice it up. You got XP boosters, you got gold and soul boosters. You should have had like a bunch of them saved up for this weekend. If play the play the vault event normally, you know, hunt for verses. Run a gap, hunt for verses, run a gap, hunt for verses, run a gap. If you're starting to get bored or you're starting to have bad luck, maybe run an XP booster. It'll be a little bit more fun. Once that's over with, you know, you go back to running, hunting versus running a gap, hunting versus running a gap, hunting versus running a gap. You get bored again, you get unlucky again, you go grab your gold and soul booster. Now you got something else to, to play for. Like, spice it up a little bit. Like, I don't mind that. Like, switching kingdoms, I don't suggest. But, like, grabbing your boosters in between here and there is a good idea. Like, to spice it up a little bit. To give your, yourself more motivation or cheer yourself up a little bit. Like, at least I'm getting extra gold and souls right now. At least I'm getting extra experience right now. Even though I'm not getting the verse I need and I'm kind of irritated. At least I'm getting extra gold, souls, and XP right now. Like, do save those for then. When you're getting frustrated, go get all your boosters. Like, don't do them immediately. Like, I collected all of my XP boosters. I probably should have waited. But I wanted my pity keys and I was being lazy. But I still got those gold and soul boosters in my back pocket. If I get irritated, I can go grab those and just, you know, make myself a little bit more happy. A little more motivated. Grab your gold and soul booster. It's going to say, this much time, you got extra gold and souls. It's going to make you want to play for that much more time. You can get 900 gems from an epic vault key. But what is the max gem and diamond drop from a normal vault key? People were saying it was 300. For some reason, 360 was jumping into my brain, but... Somewhere between 3 and 360. That's still quite a bit because you get 10 times. You get 10 times as many vault keys as you do epic vault keys. So the difference between 300 and 900 isn't so bad when you got 10 times as many to open. And it's really hard to get the 900 gem drop. It's like super rare. I would say you need like 50, vault, 50 epics or so. To get the 900 gem drop once, at least once, you might need at least like 30, 40, 50 epics. You can't just open like 10 epics and expect to get the 900 gem drops. What I'm saying, even like 20, you need something like 30, 40, 50 epic vault keys to kind of expect that 900 gem drop to possibly drop. And the vault keys, like, the top drop is, like, 300 or so. But you're getting 10 times as many vault keys. You have 10 times as many chances to get that 300 gem drop. So it's just as good. When I see a 300 out of a regular vault key, I feel just, almost as good as getting that 900. Because I know it's, like, pretty much the same. I opened 10 vault keys and I got a 300 gem drop. I still got... 490 to go. Like I'm probably going to get that thing again and again. Or at least like the 100 and whatever. There's a couple, there's a diff couple, like you, you know how like, um, the Dragonite Gnome will give you 20 sometimes, they'll give you 40 sometimes, they'll give you 50 sometimes, they'll give you 60 sometimes. That's the other roll that happens. Like when you kill the Gnome, it kind of does another die roll. And it, that determines how much loot you're going to get. So from a regular vault key, you could get like a hundred something diamonds or uh, gems. Yeah, Garth, you should be using that everywhere. It's almost easier to have two iron hawks because you don't have to switch back and forth. 
It's nice when you get the three because it makes hunting versus faster. But back when I had two Iron Hawks, I was like, it's nice to not have to switch back and forth. I just use it for everything. Hunting versus, doing gaps. I never have to switch my team. I'm just using it the same team the entire weekend. Livewire says, first gap, I got 14 bulkies and 7 epics. Weird drop rate. That's still good. I would take that. 7 epics? Holy cow. I don't know if I've ever got 7. I got five. I got 4 or 5 and I was happy. I think I got 4 and I was happy. 7's crazy. That's nice. You might as well treat an epic vault key like 10 vault keys, I would say. So you might you might as well got 70 vault keys right there. That's crazy. I would definitely take that if I could say right now like hey, I I'm getting I'm going to get 14 vault keys and 7 epics. I would take it. Supernova says I haven't seen the 900 gem drop on the screen. I never would believe it. You never got one, damn. You know how it goes. You got to just keep doing it. It's just like uh trying for the horde mimic mythic. The only way you're going to get it is if you keep getting boss chests. The only way you're ever going to see a 900 gem drop is if you keep opening epic vault keys. You know what I mean? You can't, like, not, you know? That's the only way you're ever going to get it. So, just get more epic vault keys and keep opening them, and eventually you'll get it. I just got an epic right there. That was nice. Saw that. That's crazy, though, Supernova. Like, knowing, like... How high level you are and stuff. I've probably seen the 900, if I had to guess. At least five times I've seen it. But not ten. If my life depended on it, I would say four or five times I've seen it. That would be my guess, and I'd probably be wrong. It's probably something like six or five or, I don't know. Definitely seen it at least three times, so I'm guessing four, five, six, something like that. So how many times I've seen the 900 gem drop? So I'm pretty lucky, I guess, because that's pretty hard to get. Remember when I got the double gold? That was crazy. Double gold knockers. I was on that one stream at the end. We opened like an epic vault key, and I got double major glory. That was nuts. That's super rare. That's almost that's probably rarer than a freaking 900 gem drop. You get a double, they roll it. You get the right. It's an epic Valky first of all, which is harder to get. The Cedric rolls major chaos orbs, which is harder to get. And then we have to open those majors, which they have to roll, and the glories are like super hard to get. Like, 1% chance type of hard. So it was like a low chance on top of a low chance on top of a low chance. And we got it twice. Like, in the same... That was crazy. That was like... I don't remember when it was, but... Was that like a week? A couple weeks ago? The only thing you can do, like, if you're not getting the... 900 gem drop from the epic Valkyries. Just get as many Valkyries as you can. And just try to get that 300 like a bunch of times. It can be just as good. Like I wouldn't be mad at the world if I wasn't getting the 900. I would just try for more. You know, get three 300s. It's the same thing. Get nine 100s. Like over... Overpower it. Like, oh yeah? Punk? Oh yeah, punk? You don't want to give me the 900 gem drop? Well, guess what? Guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to get a freaking thousand vault keys. And you're going to give me them 300 at a time. How about that? You're going to give me them 100 at a time. And I'm just going to get thousands that way. Screw you. That's what you got to do. And then you'll end up getting a 900. Because that's how it works. You'll threaten the game, and it'll get all scared, and it'll, it'll drop it for you. 
Usually when you like don't need gems, you'll get it. If you need gems desperately, you have like zero gems, and you're opening epic vault keys, you're probably not going to get it. The game loves to give you stuff when you don't need it. <sighs> Alright, let's go check our pro- let's see what we got from that gap. Hoping for at least 20 vault keys and two epics, at least. Let's grab these first, because I count these. You know, we keep them in mind, though, because really the average is 20 vault keys, but... I mean, that's kind of like the average anyway, even with the pities. Because eventually you're going to get one or two pities. And... I never break out the pities. I think that's... It's fun if you like want to like fill your whole mailbox up, I guess. But it's the same thing as getting them. Like, not getting them is the same thing as getting them. All right, we're at 62. We were at... We were just... We were at 60. 6069, remember? It's easy to remember. Like, I've been chatting it up, ranting and raving, not even playing the game right, and I've already got, like, we're already at the 6200. I'm, I'm shooting for at least 7,000 gems, like, indirectly while playing the vault of it. All right, 52. <clears throat> what did we have? 33? 33, 4 and 4? If I remember right. That's what I get. 19. That's that's not great. That's okay. And then I got uh, four. Ooh, I got four epics, though. So I'll take it. I'll take it. That's not bad. 19 is like a little... Just so... Like, you might as well say that's average. It's fine. 19 is fine. And then... uh, Four epics is great. That's... I think that's what I got, because I said 33, 4, and 4, right? So, did we get any verses? Not really. So, our verses did not replenish themselves, but you can't really expect that. you got to kind of do that after the gap, not during the gap. We have 60 total vault keys, though. If I'm shooting for 300, i got to at least get 100 today, so I'm going to... I gotta run like two more gaps, and I'm I got my hundred. Really, on Friday though, you kind of want to overdo it. Maybe get 150. That way, you're not like scrambling on Saturday and Sunday. Plus, you get more pities on Friday. You don't want to like, oh, I got this many keys on Friday. I'm gonna get that many Saturday and Sunday. Well, you got a bunch of extra pities on Friday. Remember that. So, it's not gonna be exactly the same. Well, I got 60 so far. I think that's okay because I'm gonna play tonight. I'm going to play, maybe not for, maybe for another two hours, maybe. And I'll get at least 60, because I'm going to be playing, like, without streaming and chatting and ranting. I'm going to run at least two gaps, you know that, and you get 20 per gap. I'll probably run, like, four. So I'm going to get, like, 80 more. As long as everything goes the way it should. Like, you never know what, what's going to happen. Like, you got to have the time... To be able to run the gaps. But I'm thinking maybe like four tonight. I can, oh, I can run at least three. I know that. Because I got three. So let's say three. Three times t 20 is 60. So I'm going to end up with something like 120 vault keys by the end of today. Which is a little bit over. Like I'm going for 300 at least. That's good. I would be happy with 120. <coughs> All right, I'm going to get a drink, and we're going to play the game for, like, only, like, 10 or 15 more minutes. I probably shouldn't even go get a drink, because I'm not going to play for too much longer. But let me get a drink, and I'll be right back. I'm going to mute up.
All right, sorry about that. I'm back. I bet you can't guess the drink today because it's not my regular. But if you can, if anybody can guess the regular, that'd be cool. Because I don't think even you remember that, but. Guess the drink. Let's play guess the drink. It's not my usual. That's the hint. Livewire says a shot of Jack. <laughs> Alright, it's time to hunt versus now. I'm wasting my XP booster. It's how much I care about it. Time to get Ironhawk. I don't know what's the best way to go get Ironhawk. You do base rarity. I always do that. I think you should go down. He's right here. He's right there. Excuse me. Ooh, you're close, Dr. Mop. You're close. There is... You got one of the words. Something with Gator. You finally got a Cindy? It's gonna happen eventually. It always feels better to stay out ahead of it than to have zero. Don't get greedy running gaps back to back to back. It's like you gotta take your punishment. Like, hunting versus is your punishment. You know what I mean? You can't just always have the good times. We can't just be running gaps the entire weekend. If you come into the if you come into the vault event with five gaps and you run all five of them back to back to back, you're not gonna have as much fun because once you're done doing that, it's time you have zero now. I would rather take my punishment in between five event keys or ten blue pet food. The five event keys is worth so much more than the blue pet food. The dungeon is getting tough. Yeah, keep... I mean, you know. Depends. Everybody should have the goal of going to the the top, the max level in the dungeon. Because you get more... You're going to get more Dragonite. If you get a perfect, you get more Dragonite. So, when you actually get a perfect, you want it to be worth it. Like, if you're on level 11, you're probably getting something like 70 or 80 Dragonite. When you're on level 20, you get 120. Which is like double. It's the same for all the rest of the loot, too, I think. But you don't want to, like, put yourself on 20 and then not be able to complete it. Not, don't want blue, so we go straight to the gold. Yoo-hoo. Grape soda? Nobody said it yet. It's semi-healthy. It's probably... I guess you would say it's healthy. Get out of here. It's like a healthy drink. You might say. Unless you're a technically person. You'd be like, technically, Cheerios are not good for you because it's cereal and blah blah blah. Well, it's, Cheerios are better than Frosted Flakes, right? Well, this drink is better than drinking pop. That's all I'm saying. If you're eating broccoli, and you have to put salt and butter on the broccoli, is that better than eating, like, a Big Mac? Like, I never get people that, like, the technically people, like, well, you're putting too much butter and salt on that broccoli right there. Like, it's not as healthy. Well, would you rather me eat a Big Mac, then? Because it's between a Big Mac or the broccoli with the salt and the butter. Because I'm not, I'm not eating plain b broccoli. I'm not a rabbit. guys are getting close it's not it's a type of juice it's a type of juice that you might call healthy it probably has a certain amount of sugar for the technically people out there what if you put a multivitamin on your big mac that's probably better than eating just a big mac It's like a spoonful of sugar helps the medicine go down. 
If it's between not taking the medicine at all, or taking the medicine with sugar in it, you would rather take the medicine with sugar in it. It's like the transition period. When you're trying to get healthy. You gotta give some people the leeway. It'll cut them a little bit of slack. You don't want to attack them and say, like, there's too much butter and salt on that broccoli you're eating. Like, dude, I was eating, like, three Big Macs last week. What do you want me to do? I'm trying, I'm eating broccoli here. Leave me alone. One of these days, I won't put as much salt and butter on it. But for now, leave me alone. Eat cucumbers with salt on it. One day, maybe I'll just eat the cucumber. But for now, instead of eating a bag of Doritos, like, let me put some salt on my cucumber. Don't come in walking in saying, you should you're putting salt on it. It's not healthy. It's not healthy if you put salt on there. Okay, back to the Doritos then, dummy. Like, what do you mean? Back to the Cheetos. Let me go eat an entire bag of Doritos, then. Instead of these cucumbers. Let me put some ranch on them. Oh, they got ranch? That's got fat in it. Oh, my goodness. That's not healthy if you put ranch. <clears throat> it's like if you're eating a salad instead of, like, eight burrito supremes. You're trying. When people are putting salt and butter on, like, Vegetables, they're trying. You should just leave them alone. Don't be the technically guy about the salt and the butter. They're trying. Let them try. Last week, they were eating eight Burrito Supremes. And now they're eating broccoli with butter and salt. Or now they're eating a salad with, like, croutons and, and ranch and cheese on it. You know, they're they're trying. At least they're trying. That's better than, a, than the eight Burrito Supremes. At least there's a little bit of lettuce and carrots in there and stuff like that. There's some cucumbers. There's no le there's no cucumbers and carrots in that burrito supreme. That's called like a transition period. <clears throat> My voice is going out. It's not really going out. It's just like, you know, I'm sick. I can tell when it's going out. It's not going out. Because it's happened twice. I have done two Paloozas. And they were both pretty good. Angel! Buffy the Vampire Slayer. Give me the Imperial Deed, you dummy. All right, nobody know, nobody guessed it, so I'm just gonna tell you. Here, let's. It's it's the brand. This will give it away for sure. So whoever types it in, we already know that you got one of the words. So if you combine knowing that you already got one of the words with the brand, you're probably gonna get it. I'm drinking Ocean Spray. Ocean Spray. It's got 100% vitamin C. Every once in a while, I'll get this instead of Gatorade. Otherwise, I'm drinking water. I don't drink pop anymore. I'll have a, I'll have a, I'll have a sodi pop like once every month or something. Super close, live wire. Super close. Got to put that other word in front of it. That other fruit. Super close. There's two fruits. Two fruits. Anyway. I was going to do a joke. The rabbi and the... Blacksmith walked into a bar. Yeah, Dervishus got it. Oh, yeah. 
Cran Grape. It's alright. I feel like some of them are better than, than others. It's probably like how much sugar they put in it or something. Like, I would rather... I don't like, like, plain grape juice, and I don't like plain cranberry juice, but when they put them together, <clears throat> it's not... it's decent. Like, I don't hate plain cranberry, and I don't hate plain grape, but I'm not, like, a big fan. But when they put them together, it's decent. You're right there, yeah. Cran apple! Maybe I should try that. I might need to try some cran apple. I don't know if I've tried the other crayons. I need to try some other crayons. Apple crayon. Here, we'll get this boss chest and I better get out of here and rest. You guys do good. Play the game right. You'll get what you want. I promise. I do as I say, not as I do. You know, somewhat do what I do, but it's more important to do what I say. That is if you want, if you don't care and you're just playing a game and you're just trying to do, yeah, it is what it is. If you're eating, if you put salt and butter on your broccoli, no big deal. Some people are doing the pet. Some people are using Tesla. As long as you're, yeah, you just got to know, like, that's why. This is why. This is why I have zero of this first right now. This is why I have this many epic vault keys right now. This is why I have less than 2,000 gems right now. You know. You're using Tesla. You're using Red Macaco. You're using some weird... Like, that's why. At least you know why. You can always fix it. That's way better than not knowing. Because every time I play like this, everything goes fine. I, go, I get 300, 400, 500 vault keys... My gym stack goes the right way. I got all the troops in the game. I got more souls than I know what to do with. More gold than I know what to do with. Like, everything is fine. I have so many arcane trait stones, they'll never need them all. It'd be different if you guys were watching and, like, I, I had, like, a thousand gold. And I had, like, zero gems. And I had, like, five thousand souls or something. Like, why would you, why would you take advice from that person? But you can just look. You can just look. My gems are just going up and up and up. And I'm going to have 10k. I would guarantee it. In the next week or two. We're going to get some more right here. 27. Bang. I think I'm going to call it there. Just because, I mean, it's the vault event. You got, there's a lot of people here. Like, normally I would stay longer. But, um, I got, you know, I'm a little bit sick. I got a slight headache. And my throat is just hanging in there right now. So I'm going to call it. But I'll be back tomorrow. Remember, I, I live stream on Saturday as well. It'll probably be more towards the 10 a.m. Because all the kids are off school. And they'll be outside, like, jumping on cars and doing cartwheels on fire. And, and just throwing stuff up in the air. Everything they find, they just throw it up in the air randomly. So I'm going to have, you know, I'm trying to, like, stream before that happens. So I go out there and beat some ass. Just kidding. But I'll be, like, more towards the 10 a.m. tomorrow, basically. So I'll see you then. We'll do the spoilers for next week. And then the chat-a-thon is going to be a week from now. Or a week from tomorrow. The chat-a-thon. The every other month, keep the doors open, the lights on. 20, 20 bucks an hour type of deal. First hour's free. I give out a bunch of memberships for free. Definitely like a million rants and you yeah, know, hopefully it's a good time. It usually is. You guys kill it. I don't even know which one it is. Was it like the 15th? The 15th chatathon? Neophyte said yesterday, when are you going to stop supporting Cine Somebody said that to, to Neophyte. When are you guys going to stop supporting Cine Never. They wish. They wish you would. They wish you would, but you're not going to. Because fuck them. Fuck them, man. Anyway, I'm out of here. You guys are the best. Like, share, subscribe. Consider joining. It helps a lot. Take it up on the channel. Comment below, and I'll see y'all next time. <clears throat> Thanks for joining me today. Misty, Garth, Mark, Dr. Mops, Sana, Wonderful. We got Chad, we got Dr. Mops, we got Misty, we got Dur Vicious. He's vicious. We got Caustic Life. 
Dr. Mops and Woofy. Woofy! Woofy! Dervicious! Live wire! Dragor! Now Woofy wants a walkie. Sorry. Mark, Sana, Dragor, Sana, 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 Sana. No, I'm just kidding. Live wire! Alright, let's find a name I haven't said yet. Ready? We got Mark. We got Garth. Live wire. We got Chad the clip bomb. We got Gavin. Good to see a Gavin. I like I like the questions. Yeah. You can throw me a softball every once in a while, even if you already know the answer. And you just like want to throw me a softball. Like that helps. That'll help me like have something to talk about. Sometimes like even a moderator could just throw me a softball. Like, hey, how do I uh, how? you know? Ask me some easy questions and then I can keep going. Maybe I think of something else while I'm answering the easy question. Supernova Garth, Mark, Tyrion, Shark. Dun it, dun it. Garth, Mark, Gavin. Gavin. Yoke the Ham. Yoke was here again. Appreciate it. I like when I see like a new person and then they pop up again. And they pop up again and they pop up again. All of a sudden they're not a new person again. Maybe that'll happen with Gavin. You know, Mark, that happened with Mark. Mark was new at one point. Now he popped up again. He popped up again. He popped up again. He joined my guild. You know, now we're buddies. Like, Yoke, Mark, Sauna, Caustic Life became a sinner and one with the choir. We must pray. Oh, yeah. I'm using up the rest of my voice on this. Mark with the two. Down payment for the Swift concert. <laughs> I'm going to shake it off. Live wire chat. What's up, Cine, Sana, and Sinners? Ivy was here again. Ivy is similar. You know, Ivy's been popping up. You know, he can give you keep it up. You're going to be the same way as Yoke the Ham. Rain Man, Tyrion. Is Gavin the next Yoke the Ham or Ivy? We shall see. You never know. Or are they the next Beg for Mercy or Tyrion Shark who's just been around forever? You never know. Dr. Mop's been around forever. Garth's been around a while, you know, maybe not forever, but he's been around a long time, like decent, like a year or something. Livewire's been around forever, he kind of, you know, Misty, Misty, can't sneeze a Misty. Effley, can't sneeze, you know, Effley, Doc, you know. Caustic Life took a whole year off and came back, that's, that's nice, still thinking about me, I love it. Frank was here, he said what's up, and then, you know. There's people like that. They're lurking, or maybe they don't say nothing. Sometimes I don't feel like chatting. Sometimes you don't feel like putting a message in, and then the person says something, and then you have to put another message. And then, like, you're not, you don't want to do that. You don't want to, like, you're just, you just want to hear stuff. You just want to play the game and listen. You don't want to chat. Like, I get it. So, shout out to you. I've been there. All right, y'all. I'm out of here. Hit that like button on the way out. All right. White Crayon Strawberry is really good, but technically only has like 15% juice. I can try it. I'm kind of like trying to be healthy, you know? So it says 100% vitamin C, and that caught my eye. I was like, okay. My, and it's juice. Dr. Mop says, I've never seen cranberry grape here in England. Sounds tasty. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's definitely better than cranber just cranberry or just grape. Like, they... they it's kind of like peanut butter and jelly. I don't know. You're first in the chat? I didn't, I didn't even... Uh, let me see. Yeah, my chat, like, re it doesn't show. Like, it says Frank Livewire Effley right now. But I think it, like, lost some off the top. So I can never tell who was first for real. I gotta, that's not the way I remember it, either. But... For some reason, like, if we chat too much, it, it, it cuts the top off. So I can never, like, see who was first. Clems of War? Nice. Tss. Yeah. Well, we're still, like, deciding whether she's going to go to Grandma's or not. She's, like, all of a sudden feeling amazing. Because she really wants to go, so I don't know. I'm still deciding whether I'm going to send her over there or not. I don't want to get my mom sick. All right, y'all, have a good day. Get some vault keys. If you're a low level, make sure you get at least 100. If you're mid level, make sure you get at least 200. If you're high level, make sure you get at least 300. Stay in the same kingdom, please. Please use Rowan or please use Ironhawk. I'm begging you. Don't do pet rescues. I'm begging you. You know, if you stay, if they, you know, do everything. If you do everything except for you stop and do a pet every, 
it's fine. But if you want to play the game perfectly, I would say don't do the pet rescues. But if you're doing everything else perfectly and you just you grab a pet here and there once a day, then that's not terrible. I'm not going to jump through the screen and strangle you. But, you know, I just want everybody to get as much good stuff as they can get. And I'm just trying to help you. That's it. I, you know, whether No matter how you play the game, it doesn't matter to me. And I have no idea. I'm just telling you how I want you. You know, I would give you the best chance of getting the best amount of stuff. I'm giving you the best chance to get the most vault keys that'll give you the most of everything else. I'm just trying. I'm just trying to help. So take whatever parts of the advice you want and apply them and hopefully you do well. But good luck. I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out. Thank you very much. We were what? We were like started the engine a little bit, kind of revved it up a little bit. This is all right. Gotta be like that sometimes.